All right, it's the end of the year. Christmas just happened a couple of days ago. And with that, that also means that every single event that could have happened this year already happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to be uh, ranking every single one that we personally went to. Um, well, either him, Leo, MK Leo over here, or me. Because there's some events that we both didn't go to, but one of us did. So yeah, hopefully next year we both can go to... Uh, everything at the same time <laughs> and that's the topic for another day but welcome back to go talks hope you guys enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into it all right so first of all i <laughs> want to cover the basis as to what we're going to be ranking these events from these are both going to be from personal experience that's the most important thing and i want you all to keep that in mind please it's based on our personal experience first of all second of all you know maybe how fun they were to attend Maybe uh, a couple of other things, like maybe, I don't know, the venue, it, whether it was big enough or not. Because some, some events, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> they, the, some of the venues were a little too tiny. But still, we love them all. So let's go ahead and rank all of them. Starting off with the first one, which is Let's Make Big Moves. All right, what do you think of Let's Make Big Moves, Leo? First of all, I want to shout out Luminosity, of course. Luminosity makes big moves now. Uh, excited for that tournament in the new year. I remember going to New York with my friends. I was with you. I was with Big Boss. We even went to the shoe store. There is a lot of talk to talk about when ranking a tournament, right? The vibes, the competition, uh, like the results at the end of the tournament, and maybe just like the after what we did. It was a great tournament. I got fourth. I mean, just talking about my experience, uh, lost to Sonics. To be honest, I feel like in terms of results, uh, it was pretty fire. And the tournament itself was pretty fire. A lot of tournaments that have the venue inside the hotel, so you don't have to go outside. It is very convenient and uh, it lets you wake up kind of late for top player privileges. And I don't know. Overall, it was uh, it was a fun tournament. So for me, it was one of the best of the year. Not going to lie. Yeah, well, I got 33rd, so it's a D tier. It's actually like, nah, yeah, no. Uh, no, but I also think it's a really good event. It, it was a really good event. It's probably one of my favorites too. I think it belongs in S tier. I will say the only thing that I would say about the event is that it's really close to New Year's. So that's like my only thing. But aside from that, like, dude, it's New York during New Year's or a little bit after New Year's. So New York is going to be beautiful, you know, like, and I mean, like you said, we had a lot of fun. And the tournament was stacked. I believe it was like 600 attendees last year. I don't remember how many there were, but I know it was like a huge amount. So, and it was full best of five. This was actually the first tournament to be yeah. full best of five. So, Thank God. yeah, honestly, that's <laughs> automatic S tier. I don't care. Those are the best. I agree. Second tournament is Genesis 9. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 9, bro. You know that holds a special place in my heart. People <laughs> yeah. might think it is because I always like end up winning most of the time. But is that's not true. Um, it is because it's on my birthday. It's usually always on the weekend yeah. of my birthday, January 20th. Unfortunately, this this year is not going to be on the same weekend. But uh, it holds a special place in my heart. So, and it's always very fun to like be around the area, San Jose, like eating the hot dogs. Uh, the hotels being around the venues is great. Uh, you can use public transportation. The food around there is, is great. The event itself has like very good uh, organization. Uh, watching the top eight, watching the tournament, I feel like it's amazing. Uh, I believe there was like over 1,500 people like competing for Ultimate and a lot of teams for doubles too. So pretty big tournament. Uh, I'm going to yeah. give it an S as well. That's one of my You're going to give it an S? Um, I'm going to spill the tea and say it's not S tier this year. <laughs> uh, listen, compared to other Genesis, this last Genesis was not held at the theater. It was mm -hmm. held at the venue, like the finals. Yeah. Yeah. And I love Genesis too. It was actually my breakout tournament in Smash 4. I top aided it once in Ultimate as well. And I can tell you that event feels amazing, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the one from last year. And at least in my opinion, this last year's... Uh, I'm sorry, I love you, Genesis, but I think it was a B tier. Also, because the way I think about it is 
the the finals were during uh sunday uh at the venue right they were held yeah. at the venue that everyone has access to not the one that you buy a ticket for which has changed this year but that's another topic and i think the something they could have done is at least leave the setups for friendlies dude there were like two setups per table at max and uh, like i get it you want people to watch the finals hmm. but these were not the same finals from like as always. So I don't know. I feel like because of that and because of no theater last year, for me, it's a B tier. You said S tier. So how about we meet us halfway and put it at A tier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do A tier. Yeah. <laughs> the friendly setup stuff. I remember that I was trying to warm up and there was none. I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I, like, I know there's, like, a VIP as well, like, for, like, uh, top players for warming up, right? But, like, some sometimes, like, the VIP area is also full. I don't even remember if there was a VIP area this year. Like, do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't remember I don't either. So. No. <laughs> well, that's going to be uh, an A tier. So, next tournament, Coalition. Okay, so, I remember that was, ooh. So, this was an interesting one. Because that was the first tournament in the year that I didn't get top eight. So kind of sad from it. Um, New Jersey is very cold. But I remember like having a lot of, uh, I remember <laughs> like hanging out with Big Boss a lot and like playing a lot of money matches, Randolph's money matches. So I guess in terms of friendlies, it was pretty fire. And I also remember hanging out with, uh, with some of the friends and stuff. So I guess even though I didn't like get top eight, um, I got the chance to watch Sky J and stuff. I guess talking about like a friend's perspective, it was a good event. But um, and I'll be real, I was too sad to like think about anything else. I was just like watching the top eight. So I couldn't really, like I kind of really tell how it was like in terms of like other things. Yeah, Um. well, I got top eight. I got fourth place. <laughs> and uh, well, listen, the tournament was good. But I do feel like for the amount of people that were there, this is what I was mentioning at the beginning of the video. The venue was a little too small, in my opinion. It was a little crowded, I think. Because maybe not small, but it, it did feel crowded. Like, maybe the... Like, distributing the space and, like, the the venue is probably, like, an important factor there as to how this could change. Because, like, the venue itself is really pretty. Like, really, really pretty. It looks like Hogwarts. Uh, <laughs> so... um. It is in New Jersey and it is really cold, but I personally don't know where to put it. It was it was an interesting one. Um, I I would say I would put it at A tier, mainly because I think it was also full best of five. Like to me, if your tournament is a major and it's full best of five, <laughs> that's an automatic A tier minimum for me. But like I don't know, what do you think? Uh, best of five definitely makes it a lot better. But I do remember the space being a little too tight. Uh, it was until basically Sunday, the finals, that was like everybody watching. So you didn't feel like like really tied on the veni on the pool setups. So mm. I guess an eighth year is fine. Just like taking out the, the fact that like it was a small place. Okay, so next one's Ultimate Summit 6. This was actually the last summit mm. ever, mm. period. This was the last one. So you went to that. I did not go to it. Hashtag red bozo. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what, what did you think about it? I mean, I don't even remember what place I got, bro. Indeed, hashtag red bozo. Bro, <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, probably one of the worst at Summit. I remember uh, Summit 5, I did bad. But I think I Summit 6, I did worst. Um, I mean, you, you've been at Summits before. You kind of know how, like, the experience is. I'm pretty sure that, like, I mean, a lot of the summits are kind of, like, the same experience. Just, like, different content. Um, mm -hmm. What can I say? Uh, the food every day was good. Uh, it was healthy, at least. Good choices. I love when they take Chipotle. I love when they take Canes. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. That 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 Ooh. That's one of the best parts about Summit, to be honest. Like, being able to eat, like, a ton. Uh, also, yeah. the Uncrustables are one of my favorites. So, oh. having a tournament with Uncrustables is great. <laughs> and I mean, the practice overall is fine. Uh, I love hanging out with the, like, with the homies. And even though I didn't do that good, I mean, not gonna lie, I was pretty sad because that was like the last time I wanted to do good. 
Uh, but man, I think I lost to a cola. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, the first time I fought a cola was fine, but then he started food stooling out of shield into downer against Byleth. After he started doing that, it was done. Like, what can I do? Like, I can only nair your shield. So yeah. ah, fun tournament overall. I don't know what I like. What I would give it, probably it's like I say, it's just like a summit experience, like a normal summit experience. You've been there, so I don't know how you rank that. Um, mm. an A. I'll, I don't know. S. It's, it's hard because the only reason why I wouldn't say S is simply because I lost very badly, right? And I was sad. <laughs> but I don't know. Like the experience was ah, was fun. Like it's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh well, like you said, hashtag rib bozo. I didn't get to go to this one. I tried complaining. Oh, but I, also, yeah, I something <laughs> sad. So yeah, <laughs> something I forgot to mention was that I also mm. got signed by Luminosity at this tournament. Oh, so oh. even more sad that I did bad at the at summit after getting <laughs> signed by Luminosity. <laughs> but, I forgot about that. <laughs> but dude, like meeting uh Dan, Alex, uh working with you, Tweak, Big D. Now Sonic's uh it's been amazing. So uh meeting meeting like luminosity was amazing. So a good experience, just still very sad. So not immediately an S, but what you say? <laughs> well, <laughs> for me, even though I didn't get to go to this one, I did go to three out of six summits, so that's at least half of them. And I think the summit experience is really good. Like you get a lot of clout out of summit. Like if you're a player who like doesn't really have a spotlight very often. Like, you don't even have to perform well at the tournament to get a spotlight because, like, the content they did was great and, like, everything had, like, an insane amount of views. So, like, that's good. And then, like you said, the food... Oh, <laughs> Summit, we miss you. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> the food was great. What can I say? Every day it was good. I remember the first time we went, or, well, that I went with you, which was Summit 2. They had, like, wings top, I think. And it was like, dude, I love wings. Like, you guys brought <laughs> me here. <laughs> so... They were always really nice, too. Every time uh, I needed something, they would be there. Because, like, I remember when I qualified for it, <laughs> I didn't know I had to stay in California. Because I, I won Nightmare on Smashville to qualify. And I didn't know that I had to stay in California until Summit because it was two days after. Mm. And I took my flight back to Mexico. And they were like, you did what? And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. No one told me I had to stay. And they were like, ah, no worries. We'll just get you another one. And I was like, well, I mean... Thank you. So I don't know. I, th- I feel like Summit overall is great. I know you probably feel sad about this one specifically. But it's great. It's always amazing. Yeah. It's always amazing. Yeah, but it's always amazing. I always yeah. had fun at Summit. So I would give it an S tier. Okay. S. It is S tier. Mm-hmm. Now, this is major upset. Uh, I, I didn't, didn't go, go to this one. Yeah. yeah uh, so... What do you think about it? Because you did go to it. Mm. I believe this is where you fought Spargo and Grants. Yeah. It was a tournament that I went immediately after, like, Ultimate Summit 6. Mm. Mm. I guess it was a fun tournament overall. The venue, I guess it was around the PNW area. I really, I always really like going to, like, that area. I don't know why. Like, yeah. in specific, I really like their community. I felt like the venue, even though, I mean, it was kind of like a regional. It wasn't like a major. Or anything. So, it like, the venue was in front of the hotel. It was it was cool. Uh, there weren't, like, a lot of people. It was a big place. Like, the level. Like, it was stacked, I guess. And I played full Aegis. I guess it was a fun oh, tournament man. for me. And right after Summit, uh, again, I was sad. I mentioned it again. But uh, fighting the Spargo Major Officer was really fun. Fighting the Spargo was so amazing. I'm, I'm gonna get him at an A simply because like uh I was like we I mean Big Boss and me went because we thought it was gonna be like bigger. So, and I mean no, like no offense or anything, but like I don't know. I feel like it was short, like the path it, like to follow the grand finals that was very short. Like I only fought like two good people, like three good people. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I can understand that. Um I mean I don't really have an opinion on it because I didn't go to it, but I trust your opinion. And also, yeah, what you said, the PNW community is great. I love them. They're all so kind. Like, seriously. So, A tier? Did you say A tier? A tier? Yeah, I put it in A tier. Okay. Battle of VC, bro. We went to this together. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, even though it, like the result was unfortunate, it was one of, one of my favorites simply because we got to hang out. Like a lot of Mexicans went there and we just got to have fun. And the boat after party, dude, the boat after party was great. You remember that? <laughs> well, you didn't go, but I, I wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wasn't there. Um, but um, I got top eight if I'm not incorrect. I beat my fellow teammate Tweak in there, and I think I beat Twice. Gluto. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I beat Gluto, and then I lost to Spargo and Shuton, if I'm not incorrect. So very respectable losses. Um, I love Vancouver. It's a an amazing city. It's so pretty, and I love the fact that it's uh you know Canadian dollar. So for us spending in Canada, it's cheaper. <laughs> like food or whatever, it's just <laughs> way cheaper. But with that said, it's funny how that works because everything is just so insanely expensive <laughs> like i know it's probably because it was downtown yeah it's but, a beautiful city yeah um i don't know maybe listen I'm, I'm a little bit on what you were saying regarding like collision or like summit six or how you felt but to me this tournament was very stressful because i wanted to make top eight like something in me was just like i can make top eight i feel like i have to make top eight and i feel like I will make top eight. So I was just trying to not f*** up during the entire tournament. And when I finally got top eight, I remember I even, I couldn't even sleep like one day before uh, my top eight qualifier. Because like the way it worked, this is something that I actually didn't like. Actually, I have a really good point for this. Something I didn't like is that if you made it out winners, so like winners quarters, so you would only have to play winners quarters on Sunday. And if you, you only played one match. If you won your match, you would have to wait until God knows how long for top eight to start. And to me, that's like, well, because even if you lost, right, even if you lost your winner's quarters, that still means you have to wait a long time and then only play one more match to see if you will make top eight. And then if you make top eight, you still have to wait because there's still like starting times and whatnot for top eight. So uh, I don't know. To me, this tournament was like B tier as well. But again, this is from like my personal perspective because of how like stressed I was about it but I don't know what do you think like because like the, the boat was was cool like I didn't go to it <laughs> but it was there the entire weekend and I kept seeing it every single time I went outside the venue and it was really cool that's like an amazing detail uh so I don't know what do you think I don't know I feel like I didn't really think about the like the the stuff you mentioned because I didn't get the paid so mm. I wasn't really worried about like winning I guess the schedule now that you talk about it, I yeah, I I can see why it can be annoying. So yeah, but overall the experience is nice. Uh, Vancouver is amazing. We went uh, together like within friends. We actually got to see the city a little bit. The food around there was also amazing. Oh great! Uh, so I don't know. For me, it, for me it's at least an eight eight year. So, eight year. It was also really stacked tournament. So like. Even though, yeah. like, I don't know. I I didn't get to play them. It was a stack tournament. And a stack tournament is always appreciated. Mm. Yeah, no, for sure. I think uh, a tournament with, like, a bunch of, like, really good players carries the tournament, like, pretty hard, in my opinion. So, I don't know. Mm. A? I'll go A. Yeah, well, I'll agree with A. I would put it at B, but I'll agree with A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so next up we got Crown. I believe... Oh, no, you did pretty good at this one. I was actually the one who did really... No, not really bad, because... I mean... <laughs> okay, so for me, this tournament was fucked. Because, like... And I'm talking about, like, the tournament... Like, me playing my bracket, not the tournament yeah, itself. Yeah, um, yeah. First of all, I had to play Onan. So that's Steve. And then, after I lost, I had to play Dark Wizzy, who I beat. And then, I had to play Spargo. The thing about this is if I had beaten Spargo, which I was almost gonna, it was 3-1 and all of the matches were like last hit or at least last stock, I would have had to play you to make top eight. That, that's, that's mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, still, I will say the tournament was lit. I love it. <laughs> it, was, it was lit. This tournament was very lit everyone is so so kind dude like oh my god i had an amazing time i feel like the only thing is probably like the outside um 
play like you know where you would play like your matches and stuff because mm-hmm. i believe they had like issues with like um how to make it so that the glare uh wouldn't bother you while playing or, like on the screen because like the outside venue is cool or not venue but like the outside station where you play and yeah. whatever it's really cool it has a pool and whatever but i feel like uh yeah that that is definitely a big issue but uh yeah what do you think it, it was cool like you said i did uh a little better than other tournaments my bracket math was kind of funny because it was uh <laughs> well this is very funny because it was right after <laughs> my zomba against me like my oh. zomba beef and in that bracket we immediately got to play like it, like the tournament <laughs> right after red vc we get to play and no, he beat me no. i mean zomba is a, an amazing player so shout out to zomba he got me there um the tournament was great like you mentioned the outside the outside area the pool i believe that there was also like food trucks i didn't personally buy food trucks but i got food from there and it was very good i don't know i guess the pool is cool but i'll be real like as a player like i got fifth place i wasn't even at the grand finals or winter finals or anything like uh like i couldn't even use the pool so i wouldn't really say that for me the pool is like I mean, I guess it's cool for the spectators, but for me, I I couldn't use the pool. So, <laughs> I guess for the for the outside of stage area, uh, I guess I wasn't really. It, it wasn't my favorite. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real. Like outside of stage are not my favorite. Like there were matches, dude. When we were playing doubles, like we couldn't oh. even see. Remember, we were fighting yeah. uh, Chronos <laughs> and Shu. We couldn't even see the like the grenades or like the yeah, C4s. We I remember that we were even like laughing and joking about like how we won that. <laughs> yeah. shit. We Dude, didn't see I... anything. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Like for me, that's just a no no. But the tournament itself was very good. Like people were kind. Uh, my bracket was nice. I got to play good people, uh, good matches, and uh, it was a nice tournament experience overall. So I don't know. Uh, another thing that I want to mention as to how I rank these tournaments and this has nothing to do with the tournament itself, but I don't know if you take this into account when ranking a tournament, but it's definitely the flight over there because <laughs> there are some tournaments where the flights, like there's no direct flights and you have to take like a bunch of connecting flights and sometimes those connecting flights are not great because sometimes it's only like <laughs> a 40 minute wait and then you have like the risk of losing your next flight and that way you never make it to the tournament. But uh, now that I mentioned that, Crown is in Utah, if I'm not incorrect. And Utah has direct flights to Mexico City. That's a huge plus for me. Dude, it was like a three-hour flight. It's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I could, I don't know about you, but like, I could take like a 16-hour flight. I'd be fine with it. Exactly. It has to be one flight. If it's a direct flight, 16 hours, I'm doing it. But if it's like 16 hours plus a stop, plus another stop, I'm like, eh. I think about that one, Chief. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. So, what do you think? Uh, I, the food trucks were great too. I think it's an A. I, I feel like the treatment they gave us it was like super, like like VIP, like super VIP. So I guess <laughs> uh, I I don't know. Like I'm not using my top player privileges. No, 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 no. But <laughs> I'm just saying that it it was it was good. It was good to feel <laughs> VIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm oh, gonna. Uh, yeah. Speaking of VIP, I think the VIP area. I don't know if you remember it. That now that's a VIP area. Oh my god, yeah, it, it was good. So A or S tier? What do you think? Uh, a, let's do A, a simply because of the stage, like being outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, I think if they had found a way to work that out with like the glare of like the the sun and whatnot. Um, that wouldn't have been an issue, but it was. So, yeah, let's, let's put it at equals to that. So, the next one we got is Get On My Level. Now, what do you think of this one? It's also in Canada, but it's in Toronto, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, let me remember a little bit about it. Uh, oh, I remember <laughs> that we went... Uh, for some reason, every single time like we go to Canada, there's like a lot of Mexican people like going... I guess, yeah. uh, I mean, well, for people that don't know, it is way easier to travel to Canada as a Mexican than to the U.S. Um, in case some people might want to buy Mexican players, eh, eh, wing, wing. Hey, <laughs> they they got to answer my DMs. 
<laughs> but okay, let's talk about it. Uh, overall, I mean, just talking a little bit about like my ex like my personal experience hanging out with you again, hanging out with uh, Javi. Javi, Javi, Javi went to the tournament. My cousin went to the <laughs> like to the tournament. When does my cousin goes to tournaments like outside of Mexico, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I at least for me that makes it like a need to get merely. Yeah. <laughs> There's like that the after party. Vibe. The yeah, after party, dude. like of Gomo with Dan, Javi, Nair, Aduko, oh. dude. My brother in law oh, was bro. ahead of my yeah. level. Like, how, yeah. how could <laughs> I not love getting my level, bro? That's, that's actually very fun. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, I don't uh, know. Like, the Sherman, I, I believe I got ninth. I lost to Sonics and Light. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I love, I, I hate losing to Light. I believe, I know he feels the same way about losing to me. So, like, again, on my level, I was feeling confident, but um, I don't know what happened. Like, it was the time where Sonic <laughs> just, like, like, started just playing out of his mind because he won the tournament and stuff. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, fun tournament. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, <laughs> over, like overall, it was, it was very fun. Um, Honestly, I would put it at S tier. I don't know about you. Yeah, I think I would do S tier as well. Yeah. Um, I got ninth as well. Um. Uh, I honestly, I think I hated like my results so much that I just blocked it from my mind because I literally just remembered that I got ninth at this tournament. Because <laughs> um, I lost to uh, Midnight, the Palu, in winners, and I was doing really well. And then I just got Desperate Game 5. So uh, I hate losing to Palu because I feel like I know that matchup really well. And every time I lose to one, I feel stupid. And then I lost to Tweak, very respectable, of course. So I I'm just mad about the losing to a Palu. Like, I hate losing to Palu, dude. So, but after that, hey man, that ninth tasted bad. But then that that uh, hanging out with everyone, it healed. It <laughs> healed my soul, dude. It yeah, actually it, did. It was a fun night, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> dude, a lot, a lot of I remember we we went to bed at like four a.m. <laughs> and like our flight was at like seven, and I was like, dude, we gotta go. And you were like so asleep. I was like, no. We gotta go, no, man. No, no. Sometimes, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh Th those God. nights are kind of too much. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Dude. we're gonna skip the. We're gonna miss the flight. I'm <laughs> oh day. my God, that shit, that shit was great. But uh, yeah, S tier, S tier, just because of that, it, it was great. It was yeah. a great tournament. I'm excited for the one. Uh, I believe uh, Luminosity gonna be a part of it this year, huh? <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Yeah. Shout um, us to Max as well. Shout us to Max and Joe. Shout us to Max and yeah, Toronto Joe, dude, the goats. Smash Factor X. <sighs> this from premier when... tournament. Yes. D C C C. Okay. Fun fact, people. I can actually live my house and get to Smash Factor to the Smash Factor venue in like eight minutes walking. Like it's on the same street. I can literally just walk straight and i'll get the smash tractor video yep. it feels great to like oh like oh i want to take a <laughs> like i do sometimes think <laughs> it's a tournament it's just kind of hard you know because yeah. it's kind of busy like you're gonna play blah 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 oh now i could like i could just go home yeah perfect <laughs> yeah exactly no for me it was the same well for me it's not walking distance for me but it's literally a 15 minute drive for me it's yeah. crazy and I actually did that. Well, I didn't take a shit, or rather I did or not. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I went back home after I played my pool because I had to play. I played my pool at like 12 p.m. And then I had to play the rest at like, I don't even remember, like 6 p.m., something like that. Mm. I just went back home, took a nap, ate, and then went back to the venue. Like, yeah, that's great. And honestly, the tournament itself is amazing. The production behind Smash Factor is always insane like oh my god all the lights the stages the venue itself they even had like mm. this big stage in the middle for the secondary streams it was insane like it's always yeah. so so good i feel like that's one of my favorite parts of smash factor the the main stage having like the screens of the secondary like instead of like being like separate screens it's just a big screen with every screen i yeah. i really like that i think that's one of my favorites the commentators being like like high up like at the top of the like of the venue i don't know if you saw that like they mm -hmm. weren't on the ground they were actually like like in the air i think that's really cool the production yeah. uh, values nice like the the graphics they do for it like even the commercials we did 
uh, with oh, like, amazing, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> that's, that's insane. So yeah. for me, I would give Smash Factor an S. Uh, a is. lot of special things about it. Like you said, bro. Like, like you can go home. Like that's that's insane. That's that's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, My yeah personal yeah. opinion says Smash Factor and S. If you guys can come to Smash Factor this year, please do so. Like, I'll be real. A flight from the U.S. to Mexico, well, depending on where from, is not that bad sometimes. Especially if you like schedule it in advance. So it is now in Mexico City too. Before it used to be in Puebla. Shout out to Puebla. I love Puebla. Um, but before, what you would have to do is you would have to take your plane to Mexico City. And then after that, you would have to take a two-hour bus to Puebla so that you could arrive to, like, where Smash Factor was at. But it's now in Mexico City. So all you have to do is take a plane to Mexico City. And that's it. You're now in the area. And, like, Mexico City is amazing, too. So make sure to come. Please. Yeah, the area, is, <laughs> the area is cool. The area is safe. Um, this upcoming year is going to be free. And it has oh, a yeah. million pesos in pod bonus. So, Which is like sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely don't want to skip it. Mm -hmm. This is another great one, man. Like Delfino Massa, dude, mm -hmm. dude. The best. What's the best thing about Delfino Massa? Think about it. I, I'm gonna give you one minute. Think about it. The beach. No, los camarones <laughs> con coco. Oh, ah! yes. Coconut <laughs> shrimp. Great. The coconut mm -hmm. stream from the hotel, like context, the hotel is at the beach, like right at the beach. You can go to the beach, like from your room, like after the venue, after your pool, blah, blah, blah. And they have some coconut shrimp. Insane. Aguachile. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Okay, yes. but now to talk about the tournament. The tournament itself <laughs> was amazing. Um, it was the second tournament, the second time that it happened, like such Smash Factor like a tournament to have a lot of top players worldwide, not only from the US, not only from Canada, but from France and Japan. And oh yeah, I'm bro. Like I don't know what you think about it, but like I mean, I guess it's just like a two Mexican player perspective. But you seeing those kind of players, Gact, Ken, uh, Shuton, which uh, who unfortunately couldn't make it at the end, uh, Glutony, like you seeing those kind of players in Mexico, like like at a tournament. That, that we used to go way before and now like it's great yeah. like, i don't know uh i mean it's always it's always been great right but now it's greater so i don't know it feels kind of nostalgic and i don't know what you think but this is one of the best tournaments that i i ever been to like in my entire career so oh it really is shout outs to pain the goat the women pain like dude seriously this tournament Started back in 2019, if I'm not incorrect. And the grand final was me versus Javi. Then in... No, that was in 2018. And then in 2019, the grand finals was Spargo versus me. And then it was Reta, which was Invitational. And you won that. And then it was this. And look at how huge it is now, dude. Like, it feels surreal. And what you said as well, like the, the food in there, the beach... Like, everyone who goes to this tournament, and I, I've only heard of things like this for, like, I don't even think I've heard this for any other tournament. But everyone who goes to this tournament, usually, or you, this is what you should do, stays at least one or two days after the tournament to enjoy everything that it has to offer. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, seriously, I haven't heard of any other tournament that has um had, like, that has had players stay after the event, you know? Like... I don't know. To me, that's like great value in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's great. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Probably my favorite. I don't know. It's it's great. It's just great. It's great. I, it's one of my favorites for sure. It's really comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable tournaments, I feel like. Like, bro, even like there was a party uh, that let you watch the like the tournament at the pool. Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you could just like be ordering margaritas, like cooking a shrimp. Oh, and <laughs> and watch the games. Like, I don't know. Like, uh, that is cool. So well, I guess I guess I'm gonna give it an S as well. Yes, they're gonna go over there. Um. So the next one is Bryce and Grind. So you went to this. I didn't, but I am planning on going this year. Right. So tell me, what do you think? 
Ah, CAC tournaments are always amazing. And this is literally CAC's tournament, right? So, um, amazing, as always, production. Amazing. Best of five sets, no matter what. Uh, rank, round one, amazing. I lost to a skinny depu. Not amazing. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't, oh, don't worry, don't worry, bro. I get it. I I, I would laugh too. But dude, it's just listen. I don't blame you. It's Mario, but his time. Why, bro, like, <laughs> why oh didn't I go God. Mario? That's that's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to touch too deep into it. But I should have won Marth. That was too sad. Then I lost to Riddles. So talking about my results, um, not too happy. I think I got like 17th. Dude, like that was one of my worst. And uh, the tournament itself was amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I remember watching it, hanging out with with everybody. Like, like even though I didn't get too far into the tournament, like where the tournament uh, like was, like it was very fun, like really well organized. I really like the place, uh, Waco, even though it's like in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I get, it's a nice place that like you get good food around. Um, it, like everything's close. I like uh, the venue was very big, and I believe it's one of the biggest. Like it has like a big, big, big room uh, where everything is, like the setups, the stage, and stuff. And then they got another big room with friendly setups out. Like if I say that there's like twenty five like friendly setups besides like the other setups, like the main setups is like I don't know. It might be thirty. And they, they even get arcades, they have vendors, they like they got food inside the venue. Like it's amazing. Like I'm oh. I'm gonna go next year again. So for me it was an S. You know, I didn't know any of that. Like I just knew it was in Waco and I was like, okay, well, that's a little tough to get to. <laughs> but uh <laughs> th that's actually why I have never gone to it. And I mentioned it earlier. It's like if it's too much of a struggle to get there sometimes, I, I'm like, eh, okay, I'll think about it. But, you know, everything you mentioned that it has sounds really cool. So I think it does deserve S tier. Also, going a little back into that topic, <laughs> this tournament really is rise and grind. That guy's kidding the food. Didn't he like pop off? Like, didn't he beat Shuton at the one of the events that we're going to talk to talk about right now? Who? Like, uh, Skinny the Pooh? Oh, yeah, he did it at Horde, I believe. Oh, my God, that guy is goaded. <laughs> well, just don't mess with Leo again, please. Just just don't. But congrats, you really did rise, and you really grinded. So, oh, my God, that's crazy. Uh, next up is Luminosity Makes Moops Miami, dude. We actually got there way earlier, got to enjoy a little bit of uh Miami. Got to try Miami. food as well. Miami, mm -hmm. Bobby. <laughs> oh my God. Well, but um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I had a really good time here. Um, we were actually spending some time at a, um, I believe it was called Rock Rock Center. R O K. Shout out to them, and they allowed me and a friend of mine uh, to play Valorant in there for like our whole stay, and it was fun. I had a lot of fun during this event like a lot a lot of fun <laughs> and this is actually where Gilhu and uh super dog went to as well and we got to hang out with them too yeah. it was very fun as well fun. um but yeah it what, what do you think <laughs> it was also the tournament that you almost lost your passport oh d tier this tournament is d tier i'm sorry <laughs> <OG>. <laughs> no no but, but uh, like i mean i guess like you said uh like we got there really early Thanks to the Luminosity whole experience. I mean, Luminosity is, like, shout out to them. Um, we got there to make content, to, like, hang out with them, to enjoy Miami and play Valorant. Hey, hey, I remember getting my first skill. That was... Oh, yeah, that was times. lit. <laughs> oh, my God. Best Phoenix on A, dude. Yeah. yeah, good time, good times. But um, uh, the tournament yeah. itself was amazing. Uh, we got to hang out with a lot of people, like, a lot of Mexican players. Super Dog and Gil Hugh. Gil, I mean, made it, like, possible. So, uh, one of my favorites this year. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, too. Um, although I did forget that I almost lost my passport. God damn. Yeah, but that I mean, aside... You, yeah. you basically lost it. I just lost it. Uh, actually, well, okay. So, for those who want context as to how I almost... That almost happened. Uh, basically, 
I have my my um what you call it my passport my visa and all on like a little like folder thingy right like a little wallet thingy that is like super like big like a rectangle well this is my phone but imagine it, it's this okay and I had to uh, help Gilhue and Superdog check in to their hotel so they needed my ID. But as for what I learned in previous tournaments in uh, last year, I needed my passport to count as an official ID. So I brought it down to the lobby and I had it in my pocket after that, obviously. And that little wallet fell down on the lobby. So uh, after that, we were looking for it in the in our room and it wasn't there. So I was like, okay, it, I must have dropped it downstairs in the lobby because that's the other place where it could have like been, right? So at the front desk, they were like, oh, no, we do not have anything. Uh, sorry. And I was like, but I'm pretty sure it's here. Like, it has to be. And they were like, no, no, it's not here. And I was like, okay, well, whatever, right? So I found uh, a couple of Smash players there waiting in the lobby. I was like, hey, guys, so if, if any of you all see it or have any info, could you please let me know? I'm in room, whatever, whatever. And they were like, yeah, we'll let you know. Like, 20 minutes passed, and then... I was like, I have to go downstairs again. There's no way it's not downstairs. As <laughs> soon as the elevator opens, security guard goes, hey. Oh, no, no, not the security guard. The the Smash players that I had found in the lobby <laughs> were like, dude, they found your wallet. I was like, oh, let me see here. And so I talked to the guy in the lobby. He was like, oh, yeah, I was here the whole time. I was like, you are f- kidding, dude. And he was like, yeah, uh, they actually gave it to us before you even came downstairs the first time. Uh, sorry. And I was like, well, that's one way to give someone a heart attack, but at least it's there. So, yeah. Um, That aside, S tier. <laughs> that aside, S tier, I did have a lot of fun during it. Recording all of the content as well with the boys. Amazing. Playing Valorant. Amazing. The pre-local was fun as well. It mm. was it was fun. Like, I enjoyed this, this trip quite a lot. All right, so what do we got next? Fourth priority. Oh, for priority, okay. So, mm, what do you uh, think? Tournaments that have, I mean, tournaments that have two days only feel kind of weird, don't you think? Like, sometimes yeah. they don't, like, it feels so fast. Like, it feels like not a lot of things happen besides, like, you playing the tournament. I remember getting there. Uh, uh, this is just my personal opinion. The flight, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, if it's not convenient to get to Seattle from Mexico. But the flight is too long. Like, six hours, like, almost. Um, uh, like, I mean... Yeah, it's almost seven. There. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's almost seven. And uh, it's too long to get somewhere that, like, is still in the U.S. So that kind of is annoying. And it's also... It also has a lot of turbulence. So it's one of my least favorite flights it always been. But... Uh, yeah. I guess just getting to core priority, the experience was fine. I had a really fun, like uh, good time in the tournament. I got 17 plays, losing to Kaninabe and Mures. Kaninabe, um, an amazing Fox player from Japan. I believe it was game five. So sad because I believe I could have won and it would have been like being so different, like the tournament result. But uh, I like I said at the beginning, I love stack brackets. So a stack bracket is always one of my favorites to play in and one of my favorites to watch. So and like I said, I didn't really do anything besides like playing the tournament. The venue was kind of small, but besides that, uh, good tournament experience. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I think my biggest thing with it is definitely what you're saying as well. Um, well, for example, I remember we had to play doubles because we teamed at that event. And you were also playing Squad Strike. So the first day, because it's a two-day event, your schedule was insane. Like, you had to play singles. Then we had to play doubles. Then you had to play Squad Strike. Then we had to play doubles again. And then you had to play Squad Strike. But then we had to play doubles. But then we had to wait because you were playing Squad Strike or blah, 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 blah. Right? So I think (laughs) I I understand why it's a two-day event. Because, like, obviously there's costs and whatnot. Um, but I think if it were a three-day event, especially with how big poor, priori- poor priority is becoming, because even last year's, well, we don't, we don't talk about it, but uh, even last year's uh, was pretty huge. Like Kurama, uh, Tweak, Big D, uh, I was going to go to it. We were all there. I mean, well, yeah, we were all there. And this year, I mean, dude, everyone was there. So I do not expect poor priority to like go down in size at all so i think if they started doing it as a three-day event it would be way better 
Um, and like you said, the flight, this is actually one of the biggest things I always remember whenever I go to port. Yes, the flight is pretty bad. Uh, obviously, this has nothing to do with like the, the TOs or anything. Yeah, like the Sherman. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but it is part of the experience, I guess. And, well, it is a pretty bad flight because of the weather conditions. Um, because of how long it is as well. It's like almost seven hours. It's like six hours, 30 minutes. Yeah, that's probably my least favorite part. So I would put it at A tier. Because also the poor priority staff, they're all amazing. Like, I love them. It's the PNW area at the end of the day, I think. So it's still really good. I, I love all of them. So I want to put it at A tier. But what, what would you put it at? A tier, you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Would you put it at B tier? No, nah, A tier is fine. It's yeah. Perfect. Well, uh, no. this next one, or actually these next two, you have been to them. I did not yeah. go to them. So UFA, yeah, really you UFA think? a really interesting tournament, dude. I kind of really express my love for UFA. Um, like the production value for the tournament is so insane. Like everything they do, like, like I don't know. Like it's the first time I go to a tournament and like at the middle of my sets, like I don't worry about practicing or anything. I just worry about watching because like oh, yeah, the yeah. like the show is so good. Like, the production, like, once again, the production value is so cool. Like, the screens, the the cameras, like, the way, like, they announce it, the commentators, the the panel. Because they don't even, like, not only commentators, they also have a panel that does, like, a lot of oh. analysis and stuff. So, I think it, it, it's kind of, like, really professional. I really liked it. And, like, I said, like, I remember I got top eight, like, through losers. I won my first match against Derek. And I sat down just to watch the tournament because it was so good. Then I yeah. won my next match, and the same thing. I went back, I sat down, watched the tournament. I feel like the experience overall is amazing. Big venue, have like a lot of buildings. It, it's not only a Smash event; it is a U, uh, like a fighting game tournament. So they have a building big for every single fighting game, fighting game basically. They have another building for Smash, and the another building for like the main stage for Smash. Smash is, I mean. I believe Smash is the main game there. I, I'm yeah. not entirely sure. So, very fun tournament. Great. Uh, a major. I know, like, on the rankings, it's not a major. But, I mean, judging by how many people, by, like, the like the production, the, the space, the friendly area, the people that win. I mean, European major right there. It was one of the best European majors. And uh, very fun. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it in S. Uh, simply because I feel like the production is too much. Like everything they do for the game, like they love it. It's it's so big. Yeah. It's getting so. Big. Yeah, the way Europe sees Smash or even treats Smash is super different to whatever you see in any other part of the world. I think the closest thing I can think of in terms of like production levels is probably Smash Factor. Like, and still, it's like I don't know those guys. They have fireworks and whatever for like their presentations. Like I don't know about UFA, but I remembered like this other like invitational in europe the one um i believe cosmos one or t1 i don't remember who it was but that one had a lot of good production too and like oh my god they they really put a lot of love and hard work into like their their production it's next level dude like seriously so i agree it probably does deserve the s tier i didn't watch much of it but still okay so now this next one is watch the throne and even though this was another hashtag rip bozo for me because I didn't go to it, um, I do kind of want to give my opinion on it because I did watch Party all three days. Where I, well, yeah, yeah, almost all three days. Well, mine is more from a spectator standpoint. So tell me like your experience from a competitor standpoint and then I'll give mine because I feel like yours is a little bit more relevant here because you were actually there. But so be honest with me. How was it like? Not a lie. I feel like it was like a... Uh, first of all, I love Smash University. I, I love the Guild House, uh, one of the best organizations like in the Smash community. Um, I feel like it was kind of just like a normal, traditional, invitational, I guess. Like, it was kind of different from Summit. I feel like this invitational was, like, you didn't have to wait that long. I feel like the, the only problem with Summit is that, like, for example, like the second day when they do the gauntlets and, like, they do the pools. Uh, if you're pool two... You're going to do your pool and, like, if you go to Gauntlet, you're going to wait, like, four hours, five hours to do the Gauntlet. And, it, like, 
I was the throne, it wasn't like that. Because I went to Gauntlet and I played within like two and a half hours, which yeah. was very good. So I feel like the, the schedule the scheduling was a lot better. Uh there were a lot of setups. You could even bring your own setup. Um they had rivals of Ether too. Uh I love oh. rivals too. So well I love rivals, but the two the second one looks amazing. So I was very happy to be able to play that. And there was one of those tournaments where like um, I don't know how to explain it, but like, like the competitive fire, like you feel the compet like the competition, right? Like everybody was playing, like we got to play a lot of friendlies, uh, each other. It, it was a lot of fun, to be honest. Like everybody got to hang out, and the experience, like a spectator, like of course I got seven plays, like I didn't get far, so I could I go to watch most of the tournament, and the spectator um perspective was also really really good. But uh, the player treatment was also amazing. So, um, I mean, I can't complain. For me, it was also like a very good tournament. Yeah. Um. Well, to me, the only thing, because I agree with everything that you said, like literally everything. Uh, the only thing to me is that, and this I understand because obviously licensing, and it's also their first uh, version of the tournament, like the first edition. So I don't, I don't even know if they plan on doing another one. Maybe they are, but <laughs> even then, well... This is why I said your opinion actually is the one that actually matters. Because mine is like very biased, very subjective. I don't know. I don't even know what the word is for it. But I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I just recently started watching it. Like just a little bit before they announced this tournament, I had started watching the show for the first time. I love it. It's one of my favorite TV shows. And I feel like it's a TV show with a lot of potential. And if you're going to make a tournament with like the theme of game of thrones i feel like they could have done a little bit more like i know they didn't want to do like skits and whatnot because i i remember ee tweeted something about it they were like no we, we want to focus on like the tournament itself not like content creation and whatnot but like for example i remember the trophy was like the crown okay that makes sense but there's like a couple other things in the show you know like the crown obviously feels like it's the best but it maybe could have been i don't know the crown and then one of those swords from the show you know like the ones that you killed the uh, <laughs> the White Walkers with, bro. Like you know, something like that would have been a little <laughs> bit uh, more. I don't know. It's my only take from it because the rest was like you said. My, my biggest surprise was definitely the schedule. The schedule was great. Like even from a spectator standpoint, I was streaming it. I was watch partying it, and like it just felt amazing. Because with Summit, sometimes like I would watch party it too, but with Summit, that's actually one of the few things that I would take from from a spectator point of view is that you would watch it. But then players had to wait a long time or you were trying to watch one player and like only one player that you were interested on, right? And they would play their pool, but then they would play Gauntlet, like you said, like in eight hours or in six hours. They were the last Gauntlet, something like that. And here, it just felt like it went by so quickly and so swiftly. It was, it didn't even feel rushed. It just felt great to watch. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this tournament is great. The only take I have is the one that I just said. But that's because I'm I'm a nerd and I love Game of Thrones, so that's about it. Um, maybe maybe next year they do something like a concept. Maybe <clears throat> yeah, maybe next year I'll f qualify. God damn it! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so where would you put it at? I want you to rank this one because I have like my take is from a spectator standpoint. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it an S. I'll do S to be honest. S. I'll give it the S. Yeah. So. Uh, the last one is a tournament that I went to. Uh, you were going to go to it, but you couldn't make it in the end, right? Yeah, unfortunate. But Yeah. Uh, and that's Coinbox IRL. So uh, this tournament was great. Okay, like I have... Well, to me, it was like a very fast tournament for me because like SkyJ and I flew on Saturday and we literally landed at like 12 uh, a.m. <laughs> that day. So I, I had to get up and like, like the good thing is I play until two on Sunday. I had a lot of like the players who did arrive early uh, telling me about their experience, about how they got invited to like a really nice dinner. Uh, they uh, visited places like the White House and whatnot. And like, oh, also the White House was like a five minute walk from the venue. Like seeing that in person was insane. And I'm not going to lie. Everything was great because at first I didn't know if I was going to go either. And I was really concerned about it because I was like, oh my God, I haven't told them if I'm going or not. And I don't want to do this to them, but I legitimately don't know yet. Uh, just personal reasons and whatnot, right? But I, I told them 
And in the end, I was like, no, you know what, guys? I don't think I'm going. I'm sorry. I have this and this. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. We get it. And then eventually, things cleared up. And I was able to go. And I was like, hey, guys, haha. I know it's been like less than 24 hours since I said no, but could I still go? Or did you give my spot to someone? And they were like, no, no, you still can. Uh, we'll schedule everything. And I was like, oh, well, this is just great. Like, oh, my God. So for me, this tournament was definitely an <laughs> S tier. Dude, it's it's amazing, dude. Also, the hotel was funny because <laughs> like the hotel was this little like I don't know if you've had you've seen those like um hotels that are like a little capsule or like pod or whatever they are called. Yeah, 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 those like little tiny ones. That's what the hotel was, but it wasn't one of those. It was literally your own room, but it was tiny. It was like what your bedroom is like right now, I guess, and like well, a little bit smaller, like. A little, little bit smaller. Like, it was... You would, like, enter the room. You would see your bed. To the left was the bathroom. And that's it. That's your room. And at first, it felt like... <laughs> this is weird. You're building like, my room small. Yeah, no! <laughs> 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 no. But, uh... Um, well, I guess it's because I'm looking at it from, like... Yeah. Your frame. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, I'll, I'll complain about that. Yeah. But... Still, like, you you would feel weird at first because you would feel like, uh, this is really weird. I have, like, literally no space to walk in my own room. But I'm not going to lie. It's probably one of the coziest hotel rooms I've ever been in. I don't even know what it is. It just felt really good. It was, like, your own little, like, safe space. I don't know. It was so interesting. Like, oh, my God. So, for me, it's an S tier. I don't know if you watched it or if you have any opinions on it. But uh, for me, it's an I only watched the top eight. But it looked... Like, a fun tournament. Like, to be honest, I enjoyed watching the stream. It was just, like, watching another HBO stream, if I'm being real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess so. Oh, also, well, this was a flight with connecting flights, but the connecting flights were not that bad. It was from Mexico City to Houston, which is two hours, and then from Houston to Washington, which is another two hours. Now, those are good. I can deal Houston with that. Houston to Washington is only two hours? Yeah, two hours and 30 minutes. Okay. It's great. It's actually great. So, yeah, even though I hate connecting flights, those were really, really good. And the returning flights were the same. Uh, Washington, Houston, and then Houston, Mexico City. So, another thing is that the, the hotel was really close to the airport. It was literally a 10-minute drive. Like, I love that as well. I got I to gotta be honest. I, I love every single aspect of that. So to me, it's an S tier. I'll put it in S tier. Okay, I'll put it in S tier too, I believe. Yes, yes, believe in me. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's yeah. gonna do it for our tier list. Um, as you can see, that's pretty good. much all of them are in S or A tier. See, the thing about it is- uh, that They are all good tournaments. Uh, yeah, like honestly, uh, and they are all very subjective because like it depends on what you want as a player or spectator. Do you want a competitive experience? Do you want a spectator experience? Or do you want a chill experience? Like what? Uh, like some of these tournaments offer all of those or some of these tournaments offer a little more in a certain area, which is what makes them good or stuff like that, you know? So it really depends on every single person, but this is our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think it looks good. I like this tier list. I, I do. Yeah, and uh, anyways, I think that's gonna do it for today. Luminosity makes big moves! Yes! In, in just a week, bro. In just a week, we'll be in our way to New York. That will be so fun, recording content. The entire team will be there and do the, the first tournament of the year. I, I'm always so hyped for it. That's, that's, uh, that's a new start right there. <sighs> yeah, it's time to not be bozos and plays well. Yes. Thank you guys for watching the last episode of the year. Uh, it was an amazing one. So thanks so much for your support and thanks so much for being with us together. The GOATs. Uh, this was the GOAT talk. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. What were your thoughts about these tournaments? And in case you were at any of these, please mention it. Uh, we'll see you at the next one. Happy New Year's. Happy Holidays. See you.